Welcome to Teller's Drum, the exact spot you want to be. The story of Earth's creation is a fascinating journey through time, encompassing astrophysics, geology, and planetary science. From the birth of our solar system to the formation of our planet and its evolution into a habitable world, Earth's history is a tale of cosmic events spanning billions of years. The birth of the solar system, 4.6 billion years ago. The nebular hypothesis the most widely accepted scientific explanation for Earth's creation is the nebular hypothesis. According to this theory, around 4.6 billion years ago, the Sun and the rest of the solar system formed from a vast cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. This nebula likely originated from the remnants of an ancient supernova, which provided the heavy elements necessary for planet formation. Over time, gravity caused this nebula to collapse in on itself, forming a spinning disk. Most of the material gathered at the center, eventually igniting to form the Sun, while the remaining matter began to clump together to form the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. Protoplanetary disk and accretion as the nebula rotated, small dust particles began to stick together through a process known as accretion. These tiny particles formed larger and larger bodies, eventually growing into planetesimals, small, rocky bodies that would later combine to form planets. In the inner solar system, where temperatures were too high for volatile compounds like water and methane to condense, rocky planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars began to form. The outer solar system, where it was colder, allowed gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn to develop, while icy worlds like Neptune and Uranus formed even farther away. Formation of Proto-Earth Earth started as a molten, chaotic mass due to the intense heat generated by collisions, pressure, and radioactive decay. As more material accreted, the planet grew larger, and its gravity increased. Eventually, the young Earth became a roughly spherical protoplanet. The formation of the Moon, 4.5 billion years ago. One of the most significant events in Earth's early history was the formation of the Moon. The leading theory, known as the Giant Impact Hypothesis, suggests that a Mars-sized body, called Thea, collided with Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. The impact was so powerful that it ejected a massive amount of debris into orbit around Earth. Over time, this debris coalesced due to gravity, forming what we now know as the Moon. This collision also tilted Earth's axis, which led to the creation of seasons. The cooling and differentiation of Earth, 4.5 to 4.0 billion years ago. After the Thea impact, Earth remained extremely hot, however, as it started to cool, its materials separated based on density in a process called planetary differentiation. Heavy elements like iron and nickel sank to form Earth's core, which would later generate Earth's magnetic field. Lighter elements like silicon, oxygen, and aluminum rose to form the crust. The layer in between became the mantle, composed of semi-molten rock. During this time, Earth also experienced constant meteorite bombardment, a period known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, approximately 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago. These impacts contributed to Earth's chemical composition and may have delivered essential materials, such as water and organic compounds. The formation of the atmosphere and oceans, 4.0 to 3.8 billion years ago. As Earth cooled, volcanic activity released gases like carbon dioxide, CO, water vapor, HO, nitrogen, N, and methane, carbon tetrahydride, forming Earth's early atmosphere. Unlike today's atmosphere, this early version lacked oxygen and was thick with greenhouse gases. Over time, the water vapor condensed, leading to the formation of the first oceans. Some water may have also been delivered by icy comets impacting Earth. With the presence of liquid water, Earth became a more stable and habitable environment. The origins of life, 3.8 to 3.5 billion years ago. The emergence of life is one of the greatest mysteries in science.
The first life forms likely appeared around 3.8 to 3.5 billion years ago, in Earth's early oceans. Theories on the origin of life 1. Primordial soup hypothesis. Organic molecules formed in Earth's early oceans due to lightning, volcanic activity, and UV radiation, eventually leading to the first simple life forms. 2. Deep Sea Hydrothermal Vent Theory Life may have begun at deep sea hydrothermal vents, where chemical-rich water provided the necessary conditions for primitive organisms. 3. Panspermia Hypothesis Some scientists speculate that life's building blocks arrived from space via meteorites or comets. The first life forms were prokaryotic microbes, bacteria-like organisms, which thrived in Earth's harsh early environment. The Great Oxygenation Event, 2.5 to 2.3 billion years ago. For the first billion years, Earth's atmosphere lacked oxygen. However, a major transformation occurred when cyanobacteria, blue-green algae, began performing photosynthesis, a process that converts carbon dioxide and sunlight into energy while releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This event, known as the Great Oxygenation Event, GO, dramatically changed Earth's atmosphere. While oxygen allowed for more complex life to evolve, it was toxic to many early anaerobic organisms, leading to a massive extinction. The formation of continents and plate tectonics. As Earth's interior cooled further, the outer crust became more stable, and plate tectonics, the movement of large crustal plates, began shaping the planet's surface. Around 3 billion years ago, the first continental landmasses formed as lighter rocks accumulated above the ocean. Over time, these continents drifted, collided, and broke apart in a continuous cycle. The first supercontinent, known as Rodinia, formed about 1.1 billion years ago and later broke apart into smaller landmasses. Plate tectonics continues to shape Earth today, causing earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the drifting of continents. The rise of complex life, 600 to 500 million years ago. For most of Earth's history, life remained simple and microscopic. However, around 600 million years ago, complex multicellular organisms began to emerge. The Ediacaran period, 635 to 541 million years ago, saw the first soft-bodied, multicellular life forms. Then, around 541 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion led to a rapid diversification of life, with the appearance of many major animal groups, including arthropods, mollusks, and early vertebrates. The Age of Dinosaurs and Mass Extinctions 1. The Paleozoic Era, 541 to 252 million years ago, early plants, fish, and amphibians evolved, leading to the first forests and the dominance of reptiles. The era ended with the Permian-Triassic extinction, the largest mass extinction in history. 2. The Mesozoic Era, 252 to 66 million years ago, the age of dinosaurs began. Flowering plants evolved and mammals started appearing. This era ended with the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction, likely caused by a massive asteroid impact, wiping out the dinosaurs. 3. The Cenozoic Era, 66 million years ago, present, mammals diversified, leading to the rise of primates, early humans, and eventually modern civilization. The rise of humans, 2 million years ago, present, the genus Homo appeared around 2 million years ago, with Homo sapiens, modern humans, emerging about 300,000 years ago. Over time, humans developed tools, agriculture, and civilizations, shaping the planet in ways no other species has. Conclusion Earth's continuing evolution Earth's journey from a cloud of cosmic dust to a thriving planet has been a long and dynamic process. While our planet has undergone massive changes over billions of years, its evolution is far from over. Climate changes, geological shifts, and human activity continue to shape Earth's future. 
Understanding Earth's origins helps us appreciate its delicate balance and the importance of preserving it for future generations. Thank you for watching.